inert pair effect. I will teach you the basic concept of inert pair effect. At the end of this lecture, I will teach you super easy trick to crack any question. First of all, let me teach you that what is inert pair effect. Well, consider these heavy metals like thelium, lead and bismuth. I write the electronic configuration of thelium. Xenon, 4F, 5D, 6S and 6P. We know that 4F can accommodate 14 electrons, 5D can accommodate 10 electrons, 6S can accommodate 2 electrons and 2P can accommodate 1 electron. Similarly, I write the electronic configuration of lead. I take this electronic configuration of thelium and I write it here as it is. I only add one more electron to 6P orbital. In case of bismuth, I take the electronic configuration of lead and I write it as it is. I only add one more electron to 6p orbital. We can see that in the last orbital of thelium, there is only one electron. So thelium can easily lose this electron to form thelium plus one ion. Now listen carefully. Thelium does not want to lose these two more electrons in 6 orbital. I mean, Thelium strongly holds these two electrons of 6s. It is very difficult to lose these two electrons. For example, consider this freehand diagram of thelium atom. Now the 4f orbital and 5d orbitals have poor shielding effect. I mean, the 4f and 5d orbitals cannot screen the nucleus properly. As a result of this poor shielding effect, Nuclear force increases on two electrons of 6s. This nucleus Baba said that I will not easily lose these two electrons of 6s. Let me repeat it. Nucleus Baba said that I will not easily lose these two electrons of 6s. Remember that this whole credit goes to the poor shielding effect of 4f and 5d orbitals. Hence, this inertness of two electrons in 6 orbital is known as inert pair effect. Thus, we define inert pair effect as when the two electrons in the outermost s orbital of heavy metals do not want to join in chemical reaction, this effect is called inert pair effect. Let me repeat it. When the two electrons in the outermost s orbital of heavy metals do not want to join in chemical reaction, this effect is called inert pair effect. Now listen carefully. If we provide some sort of energy to thelium ion, the nucleus baba will not be able to further hold the two electrons of 6s. As a result, the two electrons will be lost and we will get thelium plus 3 ion. Therefore, we say that Thelium ion is more stable because it is easily formed, while thelium plus 3 ion is less stable because we need to provide some sort of energy. Let me repeat it. Thelium plus 1 ion is more stable because it is easily formed, while thelium plus 3 ion is less stable because we need to provide some sort of energy. Similarly, we say that Lead can easily lose these two electrons in 6p orbital to form lead plus 2 ion. On the other hand, we need to provide some sort of energy to the lead to lose these two electrons. As a result, we get lead plus 4 ion. Therefore, we say that lead plus 2 ion is more stable than lead plus 4 ion. It is due to inert pair effect. Also, we say that bismuth can easily lose these three electrons in 6p orbital to form bismuth plus 3 ion. On the other side, we need to provide some sort of energy to bismuth to lose these two electrons of 6s orbital to form bismuth plus 5 ion. Therefore, we say that 
बिस्मित प्लस थ्री आयन इज मोर स्टेबल एंड बिस्मित प्लस फाइव आयन इज लेस स्टेबल ड्यू टू इनर्ट पेयर इफेक्ट दस रिमेंबर दैट द रिलेक्टेंस ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन सिक्स और बिटल टू पार्टिसिपेट इन एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन हैंस नोटेड डाउन दिस बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ इनर्ट पेयर इफेक्ट नो आई विल टीच यू माई पर्सनल ट्रिक टू मास्टर इनर्ट पेयर इफेक्ट एंड द पीरियोडिक टेबल लेट कंसिडर द ब्रॉन फेमिली कार्बन फेमिली नाइट्रोजन फेमिली एंड ऑक्सीजन फेमिली नो लिसन केयरफुली वी नो दैट ब्रॉन फेमिली शोज प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आई राइट प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव एंड प्लस सिक्स देन आई राइट प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री एंड प्लस फोर इट मीन्स दैट द ब्रॉन फेमिली कैन शो ईदर प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आर प्लस वन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट द कार्बन फेमिली कैन शो ईदर प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आर प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट द नाइट्रोजन फेमिली कैन शो ईदर प्लस फाइव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आर प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड द ऑक्सीजन फेमिली कैन शो ईदर प्लस सिक्स ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आर प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट Now the super easy trick is lower oxidation state is always more stable and higher oxidation state is less stable let me repeat it lower oxidation state is always more stable and higher oxidation state is less stable remember that this trick is only accurate for the last period of these groups because inert pair effect is only observed in them Also, we know that thelium ion is more stable than thelium plus three ion. From this fact, we derived that in case of plus one oxidation state down the group, stability increases, while thelium plus three ion is less stable. So, in case of plus three oxidation state down the group, stability decreases. Similarly, in case of carbon family. Lead plus two ion is more stable than lead plus four ion. Thus, in case of lead plus two ion, stability increases down the group, while in case of lead plus four ion, stability decreases down the group. Also, I follow this trend for nitrogen family, and I follow this trend for oxygen family. Hence, note down these important points. Now consider these questions and draw the order of stability. Well, we know that selenium and tellurium are from oxygen family. The lower oxidation state of oxygen family is plus four. Hence, down the group, stability increases. The tellurium plus four is more stable than selenium plus four. Secondly, gallium and thelium are from boron family. The lower oxidation state of boron family is plus one, which is more stable, while the higher oxidation state of boron family is plus three, which is less stable. Hence, in case of plus three oxidation state, stability decreases down the group. Thus, gallium plus three ion is more stable than thelium plus three ion. Thirdly, bismuth and antimony are from nitrogen family. The lower oxidation state of nitrogen family is plus three, which is less stable, while its higher oxidation state is plus five, which is less stable. In case of plus three oxidation state, stability increases down the group. Thus, Bi plus three is more stable than Sb plus three. Fourthly, tin and silicon are from carbon family. The lower oxidation state of carbon family is plus two, which is more stable, while the higher oxidation state of carbon family is plus four, which is less stable. In case of plus four oxidation state, stability decreases down the group. The silicon is more stable than tin. Fifthly, phosphorus and arsenic are from nitrogen family. In case of plus five oxidation state. Stability decreases down the group. Thus, phosphorus is more stable than arsenic. Therefore, using this simple trick, 
we can easily crack any question of inert pair effect.